Greetings, folks. Welcome to episode five of the RimWorld Royalty DLC series, What I'm Doing. And Dan is busy, or well, he was. He was cutting some um, steel for us because we were pretty much out of steel last time. Um, Steve? Steve. Hello, Steve. You are now a yeoman, and we have to give you the psychic um, amplifier, as someone pointed out in the comments. Um, let's remember to do that. Let's, let's just do that straight away. Stop cooking just for a moment and pick up your stuff. Oh, you can't get to it. Should be able to. There's a door there. Oh, hang on. Oh, you literally can't get to it. Oh, tits. You can't go round. Ah, we may need a new door. <laughs> How weird. Never occurred to me. You can't literally can't squeeze around the sides because it's a technically a solid object, this. Huh. All right. Well, that'll happen at some point in the not-too-distant future. These lads are still here. Now, we have got, in this episode, we do have another fight that will be happening. We have the reward of battle, um, where the Peter's Frogs are going to turn up, and there's going to be, uh, the first group is going to be three drifters and one gunner, and then there'll be a second similar load of lads afterwards. This is Brown Trousers time. Probably a bit more difficult than the 14 Chin Chillers that we fought. So, we're still very slowly getting on with the, this is going to be the throne room, and this is going to be the, whatever, the, <laughs> who cares room. That's going to be the bedrooms for assorted duchesses and stuff like that. Uh, we haven't got any animals anymore. Uh, there's a dead chinchilla. And we haven't got the um, uh, the, the guinea pig anymore. Um, and yes, um, Duxon, who originally named the, the guinea pig Mike something, um, he did um, actually um, <laughs> mention in the comments that yes, he, eventually, he, he finally got me after originally giving me the name. So, well done, Duxon. <laughs> Damn you. In fact, there, there he is. Look. There's the guinea pig in question. I forgot he hadn't actually left yet because I sold it to the lads who haven't actually left yet because they seem to be a bit more about patching themselves up. Right, so we've still got two lads here, and Nose and Dan, who are going to be helping us out. I'm thinking about putting them to work in clever ways. I'm not quite sure what the clever ways are going to be. Possibly do some hall arsery because there's quite a lot of things like um, there's wood that's not being gathered. So, let's see. Nose, what are you doing? You're carrying a dead chinchilla. Fine. <laughs> I don't want to... Let's not interrupt you doing that. Uh, oh, Dan's doing some butchery. Where? Hang on. Let's try and find Dan again. Oh, there he is. He's, he's, he's there. Well, you. You. All right, so Dan, what I'm going to do with you is make you the whole arse. Should probably clear my throat. <clears> throat. Oh, God, Dan's still... Stop butchering. Oh, the, the poor chinchilla. Well, we do need the meat. Meats, meats, meats. It is actually now growing season, thank God, though, so we will be in the food very soon. Oh, dear. What's that? Oh, goose egg! Oh, it's the goose eggs we bought! Yeah. We've also got a recurved bow. Uh, which is interesting, because we do need a ranged weapon for McLeod, because we got rid of that. Uh, I'm going to actually get that. I mean, it's a bit stupid. But it'll be something, but we really want to get on... Um, and get on with our guns. So uh, once the smithing research is done, we'll get on with that. And we also need to research a piano after we've done harpsichord. So we can hopefully get um, pianos bunged into the... I think it's the throne room. But it's, this is very slow going. We do need to get more stone as well. That requ um, This requires sandstone, and this requires limestone blocks. Um, we've got quite a few of each, but limestone is starting to run out. So I'm going to look for some limestone. Is that limestone? That is. And hopefully um, Dan, for, for tis his name, um, will get some of the oiling done. I'll also do that. That'll just happen naturally. So where's Dan? Oh, he's gone to bed. Whilst I'm sleeping, I'm going to do some light work. Build roof area. We still haven't quite finished off this bit of roofery. Well, that wasn't perfect, but never mind. So, this will be inside, which will be very useful indeed. Just to keep the rain off the head. I'll probably actually... Eventually, I might put in some more bedrooms there, and this will this will be a proper inside area. But it'll be nice just to have a, a nice little covered bit. There's a tree there. Get rid of that. Get rid of the tree. See if there's any more trees I can currently get rid of. Just the one. In fact, let's just... Let's get rid of all of them. Get rid, get rid, and get rid. We, oh god, the shuttle crashed here, didn't it? We've, I've got to re-expand re that. This is where all the gunk is get, supposed to go, but they're being very lazy about that. We need a corpse room. 
I was gonna, I'm sure I was gonna do this. Or is it, actually, is this the corpse room? Oh, it is actually, yes. Ignore me. I forgot I'd actually done that. I just noticed some corpses and I thought it was in the main area, but it's not. So, there. Everything's fine. Everything is absolutely tickety-boo. We've actually got quite a lot of meats. Loads of meats. Three different types. Pigs. Three different ones, as Pink Floyd sang. <sighs> uh, poor old nudie hands is no longer inspired. So how long until these shits get here? Oh, there's a visitor. Ooh, oh, a trader. Canto Caterpillar. I'll allow that. So when's this going to happen? Um... <laughs> Oh, it's three, within three days, so, so it's actually going to be another day and a half. I thought it was actually, um, yeah, sooner than that, but no. So it'll happen sometime this episode, but I thought it was going to happen near the start, but it's not. Okay, so did, what's his name, get the thingy? No. Okay, McLeod, you need to do this. So what's his name can get the damn thing. Oh, that was quick. Steve! Yep, yeah, install, perfect. There we go. Grab, got. Steve has reached Psychic Amplifier Level 1 and has automatically learned this Psycast. Stun! Ooh! So... Ooh! Oh look, Psychic Entropy! That's, I've never seen this on the thing before. Um, in, psychic Entropy increases after performing a Psycast. Going over the safe limit can lead to long-term health consequences. When, whenever Entropy reaches zero, it leaves a Psychic hangover behind. So it's like some sort of um, magical telepathic booze! Or something. Anyway, whatever. So, during the fight... Actually, let's have a go. Where's Steve? There he is. What have we got? Stun. So, presumably, you just hover over someone who is bad. And that happens. You get the stun. Momentarily disrupt motor function in target's brain, preventing any movement. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll put that to use in the fight. Who are you? Oh, yes. <laughs> mind, like, mind like a sieve. So, let's get... I think Busy Hands is our social lad, isn't he? Did I just choose it? Yes, I did. We need to build a trade beacon. I meant to do that a while ago. And we've done the research, so let's just, we'll, we'll pause that. In the meantime, let's have a look at this. I could sell things, but I'm not going to. I need to give, I need to give people certain things. Hmm. So it, does I, do I have to, do I have to give Steve this or can anyone wield it? Well, we'll see. I don't want to sell it. How much medicine have we got? Uh, hang on. We have... Not that much medicine. Okay. Go back. <laughs> uh, we'll have to buy some. Oh, which way around is it? Hang on, it's this way. We really don't have very much. <clears throat> I suppose you are just like some random traveller. Um, we haven't got... Is there any range weapon? What's that? Uh, a throwing... S no. To be honest, he's t uh, this guy's terrible and we don't really... No, who cares? We're at pointless, that guy. He's, he's got nothing. It's, if it's not a trade caravan, it's usually... Oh, hello! The kitties are banging! Ooh! Maybe they'll lay a cat egg. Hang on. That's not right. Ooh! So, uh, yeah, those, those cats are the ones I um, and bought last time. I'll give him a name. Cat 2. Could be called... Mr. <laughs> cat. Oh! And cat one can be called. I've just done this. There it is. <laughs> Missy, actually, Miss Kitty. There. So we have two cats. Is that all the cats? Um, is all the animals we've got now? Then Mr. Cat and Mrs. Kitty, Fred and Jellybean. Oh, we've got that bloody boom rat. I don't know why we've got boom rat. Oh, boah! Oh, you're sewing. Oh, you know, you're training. You're training the jelly bean for some reason. Bloody bois. Right, let's speed things up a little bit. There's some damage done to that wall, which ain't great. I was supposed to be rebuilding the walls as stone, but the stone is kind of more useful elsewhere at the moment. Well, we do need to lay all these tiles. McLeod is very slowly getting on with it. But this is the only way we can really get fine tiles by the seams of it at the moment. We do also need... Um, actually, what stuff is this? This is limestone. Ah, we can actually just build a copy. Right. Just there. Build a copy there. That needs to be mined out. This is doing very well. I might put a light in here. Just for building purposes. 
through there. I don't really want to feel the cloud like he's um, in a dark room doing things. You do need to do the research. All right, harpsichord. Now, can we build guns? We better bloody well. Fuel smithy for building poo. We want electric smithy, don't we? Right. In there, in there you go. We probably should clone a stool. Have we got stools everywhere for working? Yeah. What about up here? No. Ooh. Wood, water's rotted away. Oh, titty tits. Since when did we have wart? Anyway. Well, we missed... What's also, what's that? There's a wall there. You can strut that. <laughs> Somebody must have just put that there by mistake. God damn it. Anyway, someone needs to wear, try... I'm going to try out with this this whole staff thing. That's just lying about the place and all. Um, let's give... Let's just give Steve it. Oh, force wear. Yeah. So, can anyone wear it? Or... Is that even ours? Or did someone drop it? I don't know. Well, someone, can, someone needs to haul it. But for some reason, nobody can haul it. No empty accessible spot configured to store it. Hmm. I don't know. We'll work that out another time. There's also a song. Oh, there's, there's the stuff as well. We Actually, I will have to work this out, because why, why are things just lying about the place? I mean, what kind of a thing are you? That means that it won't go into the normal storage. Weapons. Well, so we can put... Well, we can't put weapons there. Let's have a go here. So this is allow biocoded weapons, allow everything. Everything seems to be allowed. Apart from, hang on, what's this? Blade link weapons. Hmm. Here we go, look. Why? What's the problem here? Why don't they allow this stuff? Well... Let's just allow everything. And also the clothes as well. There must be a, a panel, there we go. All clothes. There must be something weird about it. If, it. if it automatically defaults to not doing that. We also need to build everything over here as well. I think I might have to start focusing people on building, because there's, there's just not enough going on at the moment. And we're ever heading towards that big fight promised to us. How about... Hang on, let's see. Is nose... And, oh no, the, neither of these lads are really good at it. I think Bois. What does Bois tend to do? I'm going to watch, because I might make you a builder as well. Oh, you're a researcher. Oh, we do kind of need that. Oh yes, it's actually on set to two already, isn't it? The cloud is the builder there. Um, oh, sorry, wrong thing, yep. Steve the chef, currently tailoring. Oh, hmm, let's, let's high prioritise. So Steve, before he gets too high and mighty with all his titles and all that, maybe he'll help us do some building, because that does, as I say, does seem to be the priority. We do need a, probably need more chairs, including that inverted one. Hang on. There we go. We probably need just a, a bigger table, to be honest. I was going to, wasn't I? This was... This is all supposed to be being um, changed around and everything, but I gave everyone too many building projects, and this, alas, is the priority. On the upside, Emin, Emin, I've talked about her this episode, and she is finishing off the planting. That could probably go. Nice! Also, hang on, let's just chop these down using the letter B to actually do a shortcut, get rid of all that. And we're probably able to... We, we, we are supposed to be growing something else here, aren't we? We, we are going to need more space. This is just too small. This is supposed to be deconstructed as well. Ah, oh, come on, people. Do things. Ah, here's the raid. McLeod's fallen over. Or sky watching or whatever. Well, let's have a look. It's... Right, so they're over to the west. So they'll almost certainly come in that way. There's a small chance some of the... Some of them might go around the outside, but... Inevitably, none of this lot has been bloody well built. 
Let's do it all. Now, who else can actually do the building? Oh, uh, it is bois au bois. Yeah, okay. Right, come on, lads. Get your building hands on. Here they come. Way. Build, 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 build. Panic, build. Also, that will have to be done. Oh, yes. hello, Mr. Cat. Don't get in the way. Oh, God, this takes a, while, a bit longer, doesn't it? Also, stop going through the... Oh, God, where are you going? Oh, you're whole arsing. Hmm. Do that. We do need to be doing that. Right, here we go. Here's an interesting um, thing. Um, Spaffy? Spaffy? <laughs> is a is a wife of busy ha busy hands as wife has turned up oh point of order oh it's nudie hands who's married i keep on forgetting but busy hands is well i thought i thought busy hands was single but no apparently not there's a wife happy. we've got all sorts of relationships with peter's frogs for some reason it's chaos Anyway, Steve better sort himself out. So let's see. Who's got the guns and things? Well, Nose and Dan. Obviously, you are going to have to get involved. But you two can just position yourself there. Right, McLeod, you've only got that crappy bow, so I'm not, I don't really don't think that's a good idea, particularly. Ah, wah. I'm afraid you're going to have to position yourself there. Who else has got the other gun, then? Oh, it is actually... Hmm. I'm sure I had another gun somewhere. Oh, it's him in! Well, also, we need busy hands. Oh, busy hands. Maybe busy hands will kill his wife. Let's have a go. <laughs> Let's position everyone. Steve just finishing off. Oh, quick, hurry up, Steve. Let's slow things down a little bit. Otherwise, Steve will get... Uh-oh. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, they're up there. I thought you were. I thought you were attacking. Uh, maybe that was just a. Um, hmm. I don't know. Just make sure there isn't some rogue extra. Oh, the piss! There's Spaffy. Oh, uh, okay. So this is the second group. So we actually get. I, I thought we were going to get attacked by the first lot first, and then the second lot. But apparently not. Apparently Blitz. Oh, it's Blitz. <laughs> um, apparently nude. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. So we're going to have to do this at both ends. Um, nobody can get in this side anymore, because I sealed that off. So we really do have two two choke points. And hopefully we'll be able to deal with this one and then the other. Nosism getting into position. We never did finish this bit off. Um, McLeod, hurry up. Finish that off. Right, hang on. Make sure it is those who are coming. Yep, it's those coming. Are you, which way are you? Oh, Farrell's coming the, the other way around. So we'll have to be very careful here that we don't get... In fact, we'll have to, we'll have to send a, a second group, I think. Um, Emin and Bois can go there. Which means there's the other person with the, with the nudie hands will have to get involved as well. You could be the, the one melee lad. Okay, this is going to be a proper-ass fight for once. Even on this difficulty level. To keep our mind fresh. Here we go. Nice. Nicer. Oh my good god. Well, Lou is down, but not out. Haruto's got horns! Devil horns. Also, Yayo. What the hell's Yayo? Uh, drug. Druggity drug, drug, druggity drug. Okay. So that lad. Is off. For some reason, no longer red. Yeah. Well, Farrell. There, there's no, nothing we can do about Farrell, is there? Right. Okay, let's... In fact, let's just... um. I never got a chance to use um, the Steve's Lance of Doom, either. I completely forgot to actually... <laughs> Steve was the one person I didn't even draft. Oh, well. Oh, so we need to actually um uh, probably thieve Lou. A prostitute! Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> 75 year old prostitute. Very social, unsurprisingly. Um. 
It used to be a million- oh god, this is a tragic backstory. Lou was the only daughter of a powerful company president. Her beautiful appearance led to a career as a music idol. When her mother died, Lou could not bear her father's loneliness and became his sexual com- Oh god. Okay, so she's having sex with her father as a child before becoming into a prostitute. After her father was deposed, Lou's beauty led her to be forced into pornography. Over years of difficult treatments, her body was remodelled to appear temporarily ageless. Sold to an orbital brothel, she became popular uh, with a steady stream of clients from all over the planet. Plus three cooking! Also, plus three artistic and plus seven social. Hmm, a beautiful pyromaniac. Also abrasive. <laughs> Heart of gold, though. Heart of gold. Um... Hmm. Well, what we should do? We could we could get rid of her. We could eat we could eat we could we could eat cat who apparently is below her. I don't really want to capture. Maybe I'll capture her. Okay, we'll capture her, but we won't try to recruit her. I mean, to be honest, the seventy-five-year-old um, who was a pyromaniac. The less said that about that, the better. They did have a, their weapons were a bit pissed, but they did have some silver. Which is nice. They're clubs. Oh yeah, there's a... Uh, oh. <laughs> My mind wandered and I forgot there's actually a, a second raid. Everyone's gone to bed. Hang on. Okay, Steve. This time. So they're all going... Oh shit, I think they're... They're splitting. Shh, they're not again. They're, they're, they're wily, these buggers. Right. I'm afraid... Just get everyone up. So, to make it easier on us all, let's make sure that Nose and Dan split the load. Steve can go there. Will that be enough, maybe? I think maybe if I put Emin as a backup there. And Bois as a backup there. But let's concentrate on Steve, who I want to see use the stun attack. Steve, hurry up. It looks like it's... actually looks different to us. That's the range, isn't it? Steve, hurry up, Steve. One second. <laughs> well, fine. Actually, they're all coming this way, after all that. All right, come on. They're all falling into my trap. Right, here we go. Stun. Reagan. There we go. Stunned. Uh, get out of the way. Oh, it didn't last very long. Let's try again. Um, hang on. Stunned. Nice. And now they're fleeing. Blitz is gone. Go get 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 got. No. I'm willing to leave them. And there's Rhaegar the pirate, the stunned pirate. Absolute scenes. <laughs> That's a nice little attack. Obviously you have to micromanage it, but like everything, but... Okay, all sorted. Now you can all go to bed. So relations with the Broken Empire have changed from naught to 42. That's quite a climb. Let's have a look at factions. Look at that! Plus 42, neutral! Woo! And beat us frogs, well, we're still on minus 100 hostile. Who cares? Because we've beaten you. So Spaffy, what happened to Spaffy in the end? There, oh, the Spaffy, that was, oh yeah, she, you just died. <laughs> that wasn't quite the most exciting um, final moments. I was hoping. Reagan talked about vomiting with Spaffy. I was hoping there might be some kind of busy hands. Um, was it nudie hands? <laughs> some sort of uh, exciting busy hands spaffy reunion, but... Nope. Lou. Oh, we rescued Lou, didn't we? Yes, that's right. So we really should think about what we're going to do with her. It's probably... I mean, there's no point in releasing her, really. Or is there? I mean, it's not, we don't really want to improve relations with Peter's Frogs, particularly. Slave price, 175 quid. That's not great, is it? Okay, so we'll wait until she's innocent and then leave. And then release her? 
We only use use a pearl like medicine on her. In fact, it is getting starting to get a bit low medicine. We've got that's mm, well, not too bad. It's not too bad. I think we should be okay. So let's final look at the um, the quests. These are the available ones. Nothing available at the moment. Nothing active. That's useful. We just have to wait for Peter's frogs. Apparently. Oh, Steve failed a building thing. No, nah, whatever. That will that will happen at some point. The whole. I mean. We can't get our relationships any worse with the bloody Peter's Frogs, but I think we still have to leave this monument up or something. Who cares? <laughs> Frankly. Right, okay, so everything's been... We're slowly rebuilding everything after that. We're build, rebuilding the traps. We're going to get gather in all the supplies. And then we're going to continue building this, which is... We've done a few... Oh, look! This has actually started being built, finally. And we have... We have start. Yeah, we are processing the stones. Although we haven't got any limestone at the moment. So... Unfortunately, now Nose and Dan have sodded off. We no longer have the hauling. So maybe I should force the issue somewhere. We'll let Bois carry on doing research. Not, not that she's doing anything at the moment, but... But yeah, we do need some haul arsering, so I think we'll set someone to do that as priority. Maybe Emin for once. Just just temporarily. Anyway, we'll pick this up again in the next episode, because it feels like, feels like we've come to a nice little break here, and we can face whatever challenges occur to us in episode 6. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, do subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber, and all the usual things. Uh, bye for now.